Sarah, what do you think of the Aptera Gamma? I love it. <laughs> That's it? I just love it? It's awesome. It's cool. It's so awesome and cool. Uh, it's great. <laughs> Is and it great and awesome too? Yes. <laughs>
And Sarah, are you comfortable in the Aptera? I actually am very comfortable in the Aptera. I have been in small cars that I have felt like, I don't know, not that comfortable. <laughs> like, I'm not so sure of it. But this has really good use of space. It really does. And um, some this is going to be silly, but some cars that we get into, we hate the way that the armrest is. Well, this has an armrest, and sometimes I don't like when I automatically see an armrest. But it's so natural. I mean, I sat down, and I leaned over on this, and I feel at home. I just feel super comfortable. I... My dream is that we would be able to pick up our Aptera when, when it's ready and drive it home to Michigan. But I, without having sat in it, I wasn't sure if a long road trip was something that I would be comfortable doing. But having had a chance to ride in the Alpha and now getting a chance to sit in the Gamma and seeing the upgrades that have been done to the Gamma, I am so ready. I am ready to drive across the country in my Aptera as soon as I get it. It's so cool. And just let me say, and from the cockpit, the driver's seat, it's a dream. I'm not a very tall guy, like 6'8", 5'8". Eight, eight. And, you know, <laughs> I'm in the upper 100s. Let's just say that. I don't think I've ever been this comfortable in a car. I mean, it feels like a commercial. I know that. I'm sorry. I promise you, this is just how we feel about it. It's amazing. Yeah. It feels like, like, we recently drove Chad's brother's Fiero. And so that has, like, a long seat where your feet kind of go out not like sitting like a right angle and this is a similar feel to that but it's it's up the height of a regular car so it's super comfortable but it rides a little bit more like a sports car as far as the shaping of the seats and the floor so that's pretty neat it's pretty nice uh, setup so that's just a couple of the cool features. What's your favorite yeah. of those couple, Sarah? I love the cup holder because my giant water bottle will fit in it. Huge, I'm very huge, excited yeah. about that. Also, like the weird shape Diet Coke bottles when they go with us, oh, they yeah. rattle around in our current cup holder, so they'll be secure. So I'm excited about that. But um, I said your favorite. That's only one. You only oh. get to pick one. That's your favorite. I like the knock. I want to walk that up to my car. That was my favorite. I want to tap on it and have it just <laughs> open for me, like. Hello, the future is calling. Hey, that should be, you can use that if you want. <laughs> so, so now. Knock, knock, who's there? The future. We want to show you a little bit more. <laughs> uh, I went for a ride in the Aptera with Chris M. And you might remember him. He's the one that made the video where the Aptera was going through the drive through And I just wanted to ask him, was that real? I mean, I know it was real, but was it heavily right. edited? Because when Aptera makes videos, if you go to their YouTube channel, you'll see professional quality Hollywood productions. It's like they know what they're doing. It's like they almost know how to use mics, cameras, lighting, all this stuff we don't know anything about. They understand those things. So when you see a production, it looks so good. I just want to ask. So he told me the scoop. I'm going to share it with you. So let's get in the car with Chris right now. It was when we did that drive through, it was one take. Literally, I was just like, what do you guys want, you know, for, for lunch today? Because we, we get lunch for our video team when we, uh, when we do like a video shoot like that. So we're just like, yeah, no. I was like, great. So we just, you know, drove to In-N-Out. I drove Luna the whole way, got In-N-Out, uh, had the videographer guy jump out of the passenger seat and like, you know, get some shots of it outside. And yeah, it was super easy, went through no problem. And I think, you know, something you don't get is that first person perspective. So I just looked over to the left and I saw my wheel pan and I can see how far I am from the curb. It, it's it's pretty cool. I love the videos that you guys do with your, what do you, what is that called, the long thing? <laughs> the window, a window cleaning pole. Window cleaning pole. <laughs> I love it. Um, it's definitely a lot easier when you can see the wheel pan and you know it's there, you know, it's like, I'm so used to right now, like my seating position, like where I am centered on the road in this vehicle. And I mean, I've been, you know, I haven't driven these a ton compared to some other people, but right away it's like, oh yeah, that's where I am, you know. I mean, you see I'm not hitting the lane lines or anything like that. It gets, it gets really easy. There it is. So the, obviously one of the big takeaways that I took from that was that it's a huge advantage that the wheel pants are out so you can see your wheel pant and then you know how much clearance you have. So Because we made a video where we, after they made theirs, we're like, well, let's test this out. And we strapped the window cleaning pole on the front of our leaf and Sarah tried to drive through the bank and- I crashed it because I couldn't great. see it. But yeah, that's what that's what he mentioned to me. He's like, hey, I can see the wheel. It makes a big difference. Yes, that, so, if I could have seen the edge of the pole, I wouldn't have crashed. Probably wouldn't have crashed. Might have still crashed. It's 50-50. So I asked him another question, Sarah. I said, listen, you could work 
anywhere, I guess. Mm -hmm. Pretty sharp young man. Why up Terra? This is what he said. At any other company I've been to, Aptera is by far the nicest and you know, most approachable. The leadership team is always right there. I mean, they're working with marketing all the time, so we really you know, talk to them a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, for everyone, you know, we just really care about this vision and making solar mobility happen. Every single person, like, we're engineering this thing to be the best it can possibly be. And, you know, finance is working to make it, you know, make the company as profitable, as great as it can be. And marketing is, you know, trying to get as many pre-orders and everything. So it's it's a family for sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Aptera is the best place I've ever worked. I think it's the best place anyone who's working at Aptera has ever worked. Um, the environment and like the CEOs, Chris and Steve, are, are so approachable and, and nice and caring. And it makes a big difference, you know, like. Well, I mean, I don't want to work for any company. But if I was going to work for another company, I'd probably go work for Aptera. And they're hiring, by the way, if you're interested in working for Aptera, I just saw an ad randomly show up that they're hiring, so reach out to them, get yeah. a job yeah. at Apparently Terra.us. Apparently great place to work. Apparently, hey, according to that guy. Mm -hmm. I asked him one last question. I asked him, because it was just him and I there. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know. Well, that's a two-seater. He's gonna tell the truth. There's only two <laughs> people that fit in this thing. I said, Chris, give me one negative thing, just one thing about your boss that irritates you. Right, his boss is Quincy, who we got to meet, who actually extended the invitation to us. So I don't know why Chad was trying to start trouble in the Aptera family, but that's Chad. Here's his answer. My boss is Quincy, I love her to death. I have zero complaints, honestly. She's the best. <laughs> There's a little bit more to that video that we'll show at the very end as an outtake because probably worth sticking around for. Uh, also, this is a great time to say thank you to the members of our channel, thank which has you. grown a little bit over yeah. the last few days. We hope you don't mind we're sharing this one outtake with everybody because it's pretty funny. So thank you so much for joining the channel. We really do appreciate it. Yes, it, it means so much. It does. And one of those members is Bob Newchow, who, by the way, bought us some coffee for our trip. I needed it so bad. <laughs> thank you, Bob, for my coffee in San Diego at Fully Charged Live. <laughs> okay, before Sandy Monroe sets the matter straight on what one of our viewers said, we have to show you whose link we're using to save you 30 bucks on your Aptera pre-order. Yes. And that comes from the hat, but not just any hat. It's an Aptera ambassador's hat, which we are not ambassadors. We are not. But. So how'd you get the hat? Helen and Jerry gave me one of theirs because they're both ambassadors. Thank you. Was, thank you, Helen. It and, really um, means a lot. And then they also bought us a cup of coffee. Thank you. Thank you for our way home. So we were at the airport and when it came in and it was right on time for Sarah. After getting up at three o'clock in the morning to make it to our early morning flight. Thank yeah. you so much. Get us a name, Sarah. Well, this is highly scientific way of choosing a name. Nick G. You probably can't see that. I've tried it before. Nick G. He's the one that provided the code for you to save 30 bucks. Now, here we go, Sandy Monroe setting the matter straight regarding this comment that came in from one of our viewers, Carol Monroe. It says, if you meet Sandy Monroe, see if he's as grumpy as he seems in his videos. Well, I asked him, here you go. Okay, Carol, I'm not nearly as grumpy as, um, as uh, you think. Uh, I can be lovey-dovey as well. <laughs> so there, now we know, he can be sweet. <laughs> Sandy. We, what a good sport. Yeah. Can't thank you enough. Can't thank you enough, Sandy. Okay, so here, here's that little bit of that, uh, the, the situation where they tried to kill me. And then um, subscribe. And if you want to join, join. Yeah, please. Okay, but here's that video and yeah. we're out. You know, it's a lot of all that negative talk. Like, you try getting in and out of these things? I had no problem getting in that thing. And I got this with me. I brought this <laughs> with me today. I don't understand people's fussing. Dude, we're going to die in this thing. For no. real. For <laughs> real. We're going to flip this thing over. This is crazy. Fun, right? And it's <laughs> it's extremely stable. You got that wide stance and, and the, you know, the three wheels means every wheel is always in contact with the ground. So. Mom, if you can hear this, this is the guy that killed me. <laughs> Good. It's saved. What about the brakes? Do we have brakes on this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I stressed you out for real.